Hello, welcome back to the Convection Connection. Today, in Episode 6, Dr. Alex Weaver and News 4 meteorologist Larry Green will talk about how convection works in the Earth's atmosphere. Now, if you've ever watched birds circling in the air without flapping their wings, you may have wondered how they can stay aloft for so long. The answer is our theme for today, convection in the Earth's atmosphere. When the sun heats up air at the Earth's surface, it becomes less dense and it rises, just like a scuba diver exhaling bubbles of air underwater and they rise to the surface. These bubbles of hot air are called thermals. And we have a lot of them here in Colorado. Yes, we do. Birds that seem to be floating in the sky are actually riding on thermals and other air currents. People can do the same thing in special planes called gliders. When the hot air rises in a thermal, cold air is moving in to take its place. So the air, even though it's a gas, is working just like the liquid in the convection tank because they're both fluids. That's right. Let's go on into the lab and I'll show you what we're talking about. Right. So Larry, we're breathing air all the time and we don't usually think of air as a fluid. We think of it as a gas. It's made up of nitrogen and oxygen gases. But guess what? Air is a fluid too. Gases can flow just like water. Uh, well, and I guess we're going to demonstrate that then, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I'm going to have you take this beaker that's got carbon dioxide gas in it. All right. And what I want you to do is pour the gas down the ramp to this candle. Now, I guess it flows downhill because it's heavy, it's dense, that's it's right. cold. That's right, and? It blew out the candle. Blew out the candle. Amazing. So what happened is that the carbon dioxide flowed down the ramp and took away all the oxygen that was helping the candle burn flowing gases. Since Earth's atmosphere is made of gases, convection is happening all the time in the atmosphere. Sometimes when it's very hot, we see huge convective clouds forming in the sky. These are formed when hot, moist air rises, cools, and tiny water droplets are formed. Those water droplets are what we see as clouds. And of course, when the water droplets in the clouds get too big and heavy, they fall to the Earth in the form of rain or snow. So now we understand how convection works in the Earth's atmosphere. Next time, in episode number seven, we'll talk about convection in the Earth's oceans.